This is Professor L. B. Gaikwad's English Literature Web. I am Professor L. B. Gaikwad. He is teaching today the lecture number 423 and 424. The title of the lecture is Samples of WH Questions in Direct and Indirect Speech. Remember here today we are going to see the topic of the direct and indirect speech and in this topic today we have taken the category or the type WH questions in the direct and indirect speech. So at first we will see what is the WH question. So I will tell you the WH question begins with the WH word. It means that this WH word makes the beginning of the WH question and that's why this WH question is called the broader question. So today we are doing the indirect speech of the broader questions or the WH questions. Now see all the WH questions begin with the WH words, WH words. So see what is the word which has begun here with WH. Then the second word is there. It is here. Uh, it is here with WH and now there is the third word it is here uh, beginning with H and again how many is the word which has begun here with H. So we can say that all the WH questions begin with WH words so the WH words are what, when, why, where, how, how many, how long, how far, like this. Now we are going to the direct speech. Remember here, this is the direct speech, this is the direct speech and that direct speech uh, is started with the inverted comma and the direct speech is what will this be question mark and the inverted comma is closed. Edmund wondered. I will read again the direct speech. What will this be? Edmund wondered. So this is the direct speech. This is the direct speech and this uh, direct speech has been started with the WH word that is what and there is the question mark. So remember all the WH questions begin with the WH words and they uh, end with the question mark. We have taken here the inverted comma and here also the inverted comma that is the double inverted comma and then here is the I will say the question mark. So this is the direct speech and Edmund Wonder is the part of the direct speech. Now we will change this direct speech into the indirect speech. So the indirect is Edmund asked. <coughs> Remember here Edmund is the speaker and that's why we have taken here this Edmund. Edmund is the proper noun and it is the speaker that's why we have put this speaker as it is. So we have not changed this Edmund and so Edmund remains Edmund means the proper noun remains the proper noun. Then we have taken here asked I will tell you here that if in the direct speech there is said or said to then we should remove the said and said to and instead of then 
we should use there asked so here we have taken asked why because here is the wonder and this wonder is uh, like the uh, said and that's why we have taken here asked uh, for this said or for this wondered then we have taken wonderfully word because uh, here edmund wondered because uh, edmund wonder means edmund has expressed his wonder and that's why here we have taken wonderfully it means we have done the changes that edmund asked wonderfully what so remember here <laughs> we have started the indirect speech with the uh, with the help of this what and this what is here the conjunction means here we have joined this direct part means i will say the direct part means i will say here the edmund asked wonderfully this is the reporting verb part and this reporting verb part we have joined with the conjunction and that is the what means what is the conjunction which is called the wh word so here always we should take the uh, wh uh, word means uh, this direct speech uh, has been started with what and that's why we have taken here the conjunction what then uh, what is the uh, indirect speech then we have done this uh, here that means what we have done here we have make we have made here the uh, simple sentence of this question what is this question this is the verbal question i will say uh, this will be this will be or this is the remaining part uh, i will say uh, of this direct speech so will this be will this be this is the verbal question and then uh, i have made here the simple sentence what will be the simple sentence the simple sentence will be this will be so i made the simple sentence this will be and this simple sentence i change into the indirect speech and that's why the indirect speech is this has become here that and this would uh, uh, sorry this will has become here would because this is the helping verb so this helping verb has uh, become here would and this is the main verb and the main verb has remained the same so the answer is that would be remember here again i will uh, explain uh, in detail this example that we have put this element as it is then we have taken asked in instead of the said or said to here is wonder and this wonder is working Uh, for the said and said to and that's why we have taken here asked then i will tell you here is the wondered and that's why we have taken here wonderfully and then we have taken here the conjunction what because this question has been started with what and that's why we have taken the conjunction what here then now uh, we have made the simple sentence of this remaining part and the simple sentence is this will be and this uh, simple sentence has been turned into the uh, indirect speech and uh, this has become that uh, will uh, has become would and this be has become only be why because this is the helping verb and so this helping verb has turned into the past tense and this is the main verb and this main verb has remained the same so here i will say uh, at the end of the indirect speech there is the full stop so we have we have removed 
the inverted commas question mark and at the end we have put the uh, full stop i will say remember here now there is the second sentence and the second sentence is a direct speech uh, what is the direct speech the stranger asked the comma inverted comma started what makes the moon shine question mark is there and here i have forgotten here is the inverted comma closed so the again i will uh, read the uh, sentence here of this direct speech the direct speech is the stranger asked what make the moon shine that is the question so the indirect speech is the stranger asked so remember here the stranger is the speaker and that's why uh, i have put the stranger word uh, as it is means i have put it the same word because we cannot change the speaker and that's why i have put here the speaker as it is there then here is the asked already uh, there is the word asked and that's why here uh, i have taken the same word asked if there is the said or said to we should take asked instead of the said or said to but here already we have got here the word asked uh, as the verb and that's why we have taken this word as the verb asked then comma inverted comma and then this question mark and again here is the comma and inverted comma we have removed them means always while doing the indirect speech we should remove uh, the comma and inverted comma question mark and here is the inverted comma we should remove them and then we should uh, do the indirect speech so here the indirect speech is the stranger asked the then uh, here this is the reporting word part remember the stranger asked is the reporting word part and i have joined this reporting word part uh, with the direct speech and i have taken the conjunction and that conjunction is what because always in the ws questions we take the uh, conjunction and that conjunction is the wh word which Uh, begins here the direct speech so we have taken here or i have taken here the wh word and that wh word is what and so here uh, i have taken what then what i have done then i have uh, done the indirect in this way that what makes the moon shine means there is the full stop means what makes the moon shine it means that i have put the sentence as it is remember the sentence is what makes the moon shine and i have done the indirect speech the same means i have put the sentence as it is means what makes the moon shine because it is the universal sentence because this sentence is showing the universalness or it is the universal uh, sentence Uh, it is the type of the universal sentence and that's why i have put the same sentence and i have done the indirect speech of this particular uh, sentence now we have come to the conclusion part so what is the conclusion part i i will tell you at first when we are doing the uh, indirect speech of the direct speech in the uh, i will say in the category of the ws questions then we should do at first uh, some changes and the uh, changes are like this the first change is the reporting part first remember always we should take the reporting part first so remember here we have taken edmund asked so always take the reporting part first and then uh, join the direct speech as the indirect speech to this reporting part the second is here said said to asked it means that 
we should remove this said we should remove this said to and we should take the ask the verb instead of they that is the second explanation and uh, we should do always like this here then i will come to the third point and the third point is asked asked means if there is the asked already given in the direct speech then we should take asked uh, uh, it means we should take asked as it is or we should take the same asked which is given in the direct speech so see here uh, i will say edmund wonder so here i have taken asked uh, because this wonder is working here as asked or this wonder is working here as said or said to and that's why here i have taken asked the second uh, explanation i will give you uh, here is that uh, the indirect uh, the direct speech is here the stranger asked so here the ready made asked is given and so that's why here i have taken the asked in the indirect speech so uh, this is the rule that if there is the asked in the direct speech we should take the same asked uh, there in the indirect speech then fourth rule is that the conjunction uh, should be wh word to join the reporting uh, part and the direct speech part remember uh, when we are going to make the indirect speech of the uh, wh questions then i will tell you that the conjunction should be taken the wh word which word uh, has already begun that particular wh sentence or the wh Uh, direct speech so here what here and here is also the what and here is also the what and that's why here i have taken the conjunction as what so always remember the conjunction in the wh question should be taken the wh word and that's why here we have taken and so here uh, that is the point so here uh, the answer is the conjunction uh, should be taken as the wh word and we should join the reporting part with the direct speech and that's why we have joined here the reporting part edmund asker is the reporting part and this reporting part we have joined with the i will say uh, uh, direct speech or i will say that direct speech has been turned into the indirect speech that is the point i will say now the fifth rule is that the simple sentence then the indirect speech means at first we should make the simple sentence and then we should make the indirect speech of that simple sentence so here i will say that this what i have taken as the conjunction but this remaining part is the question that is the verbal question and this verbal question i have a change into the uh, simple sentence means uh, this simple sentence uh, will be this will be and full stop and this will be uh, has been changed into the indirect speech and that's why the answer is that would be so remember here always we should uh, make the simple sentence of the remaining part and then we should uh, change that simple sentence into the Uh, in direct speech that is the important point i will say and uh, now the last uh, rule is that full stop against the comma and inverted comma uh, it means that uh, we uh, should remove all the comma inverted commas and the uh, question marks in the direct speech and then we should put at the end of the uh, indirect speech the full stop means we should remove all these questions then i will say the commas and inverted commas and at the end of the indirect speech we should put the full stop so here we have finished this video in english again we will uh, make the uh, video means the same video in marathi and that video number will be 424 
uh, remember here we have finished this video uh, please uh, subscribe like share and comment on my youtube channel this is my request so here again i will be uh, in front of you with a new video till then thank you thank you very much